I just remembered that I had forgotten about the hard and the soft jumpers for each of the axes. So, what I just did is I switched all of them from hard, which is how they were set when I received my new board. I set them to soft for all of them. And then, if I power everything on, motors show they're waiting for power. I'll boot CNC 12. Reset and then my motors have power, but they are not enabled because Acorn has not given them the enable signal. If that makes sense. And there's no LED on my connector board. So then if I hit cycle start, that all set machine home and that enables all my motors. Connector board shows green next to the relay and Acorn's got green LEDs on the enables. And now I can jog X, Y in the Y slave, and Z. So all that works. So now I'm going to spin the X motor shaft and cause a fault. That trips everything up. And these three motors get power cut. And then this one shows the fault. So now if I cycle my E stop and then release it, then all my motors reset. So they're not enabled, but they are in the standby mode saying that they need an enable signal and power supply is on so then as soon as I jog they will enable and then they are working X Y and Z so that works I do think it's interesting though that if I um, leave those jumpers in hard, then there's no way to toggle the enable signal, which is what resets the motors. So this is the winning combo. Having software enable set for all the axes, and then at least on the board I have in there right now, I have acorn enable set to on and now everything's working so thanks for all your guys help I really appreciate it thanks bye